A Table Football Monthly special report, live from the studio. First, with news, views and comments. It's Saturday morning in the studio here, which means it's... Match day! It is. Smithy and I have been yeah. knocking out a few games on the two diorama stadium this morning. But, whilst we've been doing that, we have been discussing goalkeepers. And in particular, the issue of keeping goal if you're a solo Sabutio player. Now, ironically, when Smith and I were playing uh, for real, which we did for quite a long quite, while... Quite a few times, yeah. I played in goal, whereas... I was your Atsfield player. Your Machiavelli of the time. <laughs> yes. You won't find him on Google because he's so old. You might need to look <laughs> in the New Testament. <clears throat> now, ironically, in uh, Subutia, and I'm saying this through gritted teeth, Smithy is a significantly better goalkeeper than I am. Only due to all the practice I get when I'm playing you. And also, if you look behind the goals, look at the wear and tear behind my goal to yours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> bigger. <laughs> yes. So... We were thinking about how we could solve the problem or at least make it a little more interesting. But before we do that, and to prove the point about Smithy's Sabuto goalkeeping skills, here's a clip we made about a year ago when I put Smithy through his paces using a number of Sabuto goalkeepers from over the decades. Safe and Smith, I think you call me. <laughs> So, here's my good friend Keith. He's got this great idea for making your solo Sabutio play more enjoyable. I think it was back in October that we had Chris Burford as a guest on Table Football Monthly. And amongst other things, he told us all about the Sabutio Solo Fantasy League. And at that time, I'd never heard of solo playing before. I knew it existed. I do it here when I'm doing demonstrations, displays, or testing out new teams that I've bought. But organised leagues, fantastic. As well as the Solo Sabutio Fantasy League, there's the ISSL. It seems to me in recent months, this has become one of the fastest areas of growth in Sabutio. I've had a look at various Facebook sites and the games that are played, the way they're reported, the photographs of the different stadia, the different teams. It really is fantastic and well worth a look. But one of the problems that keeps cropping up is goalkeeping. How do you keep goal when you're playing a Sabutio game on your own? Some try to hold the keeper whilst also flicking the player. One player told me he used an eraser, another a battery. Well, I think it's time on Table Football Monthly we had a look into that. As many of you who watch Table Football Monthly will know, mostly I do the games and the demonstrations with Smithy, but he's not always here, as evidently he has a life, or so he says. So, many, many moons ago, I created my own goalkeepers so I could practice the shooting and the various demos I did on our documentary and on this programme. Now, one of them that I'm going to show you in a moment was Colin Bolton. Cut out the walls. Far post is Kindon. Got a good touch. And Bolton grabs it second chance. And if you cast your mind back, way back to 74, you may recall he played in goal for Derby County taking over from Les Green. So I'm going to show you a few shots of him in action, then we're going to make one and see what you think. It may be a cup of tea or it may trigger a thought in your mind to go off on a bit of a tangent. But either way, it's time for some solo Sabutio goalkeeping fun.
Those of you who've been around football for a while will have recognised that this isn't the real Colin Bolton. He is in fact a triangular piece of card with a photograph of Colin Bolton on the front and he has a 2p piece in his base to stop him falling over. Now what do we want from a goalkeeper when we're playing solo Subutio? Well we want his rebounds to be realistic. We don't want them flying or pinging off too far. We also want him to have a chance to make some good saves and make us feel like our game is really cooking. So let's give him another bash. When we watch the slow-mo, we can see that the two pence beast in his base gives him the strength to withstand quite a hard shot. It also means that when he falls backwards, it gives a very realistic dive. Right, let's try something low and hard. And once again, he's kept a shot from going in. Although we might need VAR to see if it crossed the line. I can't tell if that went in or not, but who cares? We win every which way, because who doesn't want drama in their solo subutio? Right, enough of Colin. For United, in 1974, Jimmy Rimmer was in a fine run of form and was keeping Stepney out of the side. So let's build Jimmy Rimmer, stick him in the United goal and see how he gets on. Right, time for a bit of Blue Peter. We have a card, a ruler. We have our picture of Jimmy Rimmer, PVA, bit of Gorilla Glue, scissors and a scalpel and somewhere I thought I'd put, oh there we go, a sharp pencil. Now our goalkeeper is five centimetres high. So let's mark that up on here. Three centimetres are used up with his base and another five for the back. So the length of card we need is 13 centimetres. Now we want our goalkeeper to be two centimetres across. Okay, so we're marking all this up as we go. So let's mark that up. The strength of cardboard is quite important because if um, you use cardboard that is too thin, he's never going to have the strength to stop a fierce shot. So this is relatively thick. This is one of the boxes that came on an eBay purchase and it's corrugated inside, hopefully, as you can see. So we're going to cut out our keeper. Now remember, you need an adult to handle the scissors. Isn't that what they said on Blue Peter? Right, now we're going to use a ruler just to get our folding crease tidy. And let's fold the other side. Okay. So what should happen is that we fold them together and we get a triangle. Okay. Now, a bit of folded sellotape will create your join, but because I'm going quick and I want to demonstrate it in a minute, I'm going to stick a bit of the old Gorilla Glue on. Shortcut Saras which means I should get a fairly quick join and we can get on with the sexy stuff. Right, how many of you are imagining that my fingers are now stuck to the top of this? Now, here is Mr. Rimmer. So what we'd like to do is fit him onto the shot as best we can. So let's try and centre him up a bit and draw the bit that we want. Okay, hate to do this but we've got to cut, he's one of my spares so don't panic. Right, so we're going to cut, maybe leave ourselves a little bit of leeway. Okie dokie. Now, hopefully Jimmy is going to stick to our table here. Right, so a little bit of PVA. Any old bit of Pritt stick or anything I'd use. I was going to use Pritt stick, but mine's dried up, sadly. And stick Jimmy to the card. 
All right, so there we have Jimmy Rimmer in goal. Stick him in properly. And let's give him a minute or two to settle down. Now, although I appreciate we'd gone decimal by 1974, I am going to put a threepenny bit onto the base here because it won't stick out quite as far as much uh, as quite as far as the uh, 2p does and I have a lot of them lying around right here we go don't want it looking too far over the edge okay how's Jimmy sticking so there in essence we have Jimmy Rimmer ready to do his thing and then when the time comes we can mess with how we bend him to make him stand upright okay now I've knocked this off relatively quick I would prefer to say I carefully crafted it but I've knocked it off fairly quick obviously in your own good time you can make them look as smart as you like Right, I think I'm going to make a brew. By the time I've drunk that, we can stick him on the pitch and see if he can make the same kind of saves as Colin Bolton did. Fingers crossed. Well, thankfully, our new Jimmy Rimmer doesn't let us down. An acrobatic tip over, a fingertip save, pushing away a pile driver, or showing a safe pair of hands. To quote a well-known ad, these keepers will do you proud. Oh, and by the way, you can beat him occasionally. If you are a solo Subutio player, I hope this segment has been of some interest to you. If you do have a go at building the keepers, please let us know how you get on. And if you get time, please share some picks. We love to receive them. If you're not a solo player, it may still be worth looking at it, whatever size you choose to build them. They are a great aid to practicing shooting accuracy. Whilst I'm on, and if I may, as a neutral, whether you're a solo player or not, I know there has been a little friction between the two sides, which in the global picture makes no sense. After all, the more of us that play Subutio, however we choose to do it, the better it is for all of us because it adds impetus, enthusiasm, and a reason for independent traders like Pegasus with their rather excellent Astro pitch, Topspin and their popular, beautifully painted heavyweights, SubutioStadium.com with their new and rather glorious floodlights, the independent traders on the auction sites giving us tabs for our scoreboards, advertising hoardings to keep on going and keep the goodies coming. As a stronger, bigger United community, the better off we'll all be. Right, enough of your own way, goalkeeper, son. Let's see a real keeper in action. A lucky keeper in action. I don't think so. Oh! oh Safe hands, Smith. Safe and Smith strikes again. <laughs>